Tonight's top EU stories from the UNIT website include European Commission Chief claims the Euro is now safe. Tories call for Britain to slash payments to Brussels. EU prepares for cybercrime crackdown. Are internet restrictions on their way? More on digital legislation in our legislation section as we review the latest Commission report. Also, the grandson of the man behind Europe warns of EU project failure. I'm Rick Timmis and this is the Unit Nightly News. Jose Manuel Barroso claimed the single currency was no longer at risk of collapse despite recession across the region. This article explores in brief the validity of Mr Barroso's statement. I don't believe we'll have to watch the fiscal crisis for much longer to see its end in sight. Tory Heartland MPs have written to David Cameron urging him to revoke payments to the EU. This article looks at the staggering sums of money being handed over to the EU that could and should be better used to support the elderly, vulnerable and invest in Britain, an incredible £15.8 billion annually. This story has really put the cat amongst the pigeons. I suspect it's the view of most of the UK people, but what do you think? The EU has made a New Year's resolution to get tough on internet criminals. As I have reported before, this desire for control of the internet is not going away. This is the first of two articles on the unit.com today as the Commission ramps up its regulation of the internet. Just as you wouldn't tackle burglary by restricting on transport routes to houses, you can't really tackle cybercrime by restricting data routes to computers. Our second article on digital rights, digital freedom strategy in respect to EU foreign policy. This is something of an antithesis on internet controls as this report calls for greater digital freedom and is a confusing piece of legislation which probably demonstrates the EU's current understanding of the topic. As always, I will personally have a watching eye on this topic and I will keep you updated on this channel. Grandson of EU founding father loses faith in the European project. Stephen Verhan quit the Christian Democratic Union, which was founded by his grandfather, Konrad Adenauer, to switch to a Eurosceptic party. This article looks at why he believes the EU has failed. Today in our video library, Roger Helmer points out a number of critical flaws in the single currency and questions what the Commission is doing to solve these issues. That's all from me at the Unit Nightly News. You can get lots more news stories and information on our website www.theunit.com. You can get in touch with us there and we particularly welcome your letters and points of view. You can follow us on Twitter. Our Twitter username is the E Unit. Remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel for all of our regular updates. You can join me and the rest of the team for interactive discussion and debate on Google Plus anytime. And finally, our The Word program is again active. If you would like one of our team of speakers to come and discuss Britain's relationship with the EU in your area, then get in touch with us via the Word section of our website. Rick Timmis. For the Unit Nightly News, I'll see you soon.